Yeah, we're in Leger, France, and uh, it's the fifth round of the World Cup. My relationship with Geordie, I mean, Geordie and I are really good friends, and I think whenever there's a camera, he gets all serious, and we end up just taking the piss out of each other. I don't remember any, I think my first Leger was Crankworks with Greg. For some reason, we came here, and I think he was still drunk on quality day. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. It was like a, an opportunity to, to, to build a team and uh, direct this team. So going from like staff members to, uh, yeah, to, to pit layout. I mean, it's been quite heavily involved and as well, you know, developing this bike. You know, we want to have the fastest bike with um, a, a serious contending team. And I think, I think this, this weekend showed we've got it. I think he's had a lot of injuries and he's on a new bike. So there's a lot of things compounding to make it a difficult season. I guess I don't really expect things out of people until you have all the facts and everything's going the way it should. He's been pushing pretty hard and I still don't think he's 100%. So fair game on him for, for actually getting in there. No, I, I was expecting to come in hot. You know, Fort Williams is a good track for me. And um, in the testing that we had done pre-season, I felt, I felt like I was juggling with the bike really well. And uh, Fort Williams just caught me by surprise. I pulled in Norway as team manager. And the reason I did that is uh, I trained with Alan and he's a great trainer. And, but if we've got Alan as team manager calling all the shots, he's going to make the right calls as a trainer for the best performance of the athletes. Yeah, 98. So we were talking about all the track iterations and the different locations of where the track was across the hill um, on track walk actually. So he's got a lot of history here and obviously with the suspension as well. He knows what he likes and he's always searching. I think he's searching for that unicorn bike all the time, that ultimate, ultimate bike. But when you know that he's just making fine tweaks, you know he's in a good place. If he's making little adjustments, then we know he's pretty happy. Yeah, Greg's been working on, um, he's been working on suspension quite a lot this week and he's been trying to get a bit more feedback from the bike. Um, and they've been changing like idler position to work with the suspension. So it's, it's sort of an all round package really, the chassis and the suspension. And it's really good link between Fox and the Norco engineers as well. So they like, it all works together. And I think that gets the best result really for the bike. I think the rain has to be in people's minds, but I think people are also, like you're still gonna set up for conditions at the moment. So I think, they're definitely thinking about what's coming. What's coming must be in the back of their heads, but what's happening is definitely at the forefront. So if it stays dry, we're okay. If it really rains and changes the track considerably, then there's gonna be a little bit of a scramble to make some adjustments. I brought Tom Duncan in as uh, head technical. And um, Tom, Tom's got great experience with data and. Um, you know, he's a very smart, intelligent guy, so he, he's um, super capable of uh, communicating and speaking the whole engineering lingo. And so Tom oversees all the, the technical side of, um, in, in the team. Is Greg a hard man to work for? <laughs> Depends what day of the week it is. He has his moments, but then I think most people do. But the one advantage of Greg is he's He's been around a while, so he's tried most things. So you can bring ideas to him and he'll understand what that's going to do to the bike. Um, sometimes it takes a bit of convincing, but generally kind of willing to try most things. Greg is definitely not one to leave his settings alone and learn the track. He will adjust everything possible at least three times and then do it again just for fun. We 
now five races into the season, we, it's, uh, it feels like we found some stuff on the bike that, that came a bit late, but also we didn't really, we, weren't, we were so late into the season with um, uh, like getting the whole team organized and everything else so late that we didn't really have the time to do any pre-season racing or anything like that. So um, I, I'm pretty proud of this team. It's, In qualies, I was 44, and uh, I was, yeah, 44th. And I'm pretty sure Alan told me, and I, I could be very wrong, but I think Alan said to me, you know, I was like, oh man, I've lost so much time in the sector, and really sort this out, that out, da 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 And he goes, you're two seconds of 10th. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like, but there's so many riders on like a second. Um, and so I just made it through that first quali, the quali, and then it was into the semis. in in 30th and uh, get a chance tomorrow. Yeah, everything went according to plan. Rain game is played. <laughs> I thought that I'd done okay, but whew, qualifying 30th, I mean, protected riders really pushing the track speed and, and going for points. And then you've got, you know, the next 20 odd riders who aren't protected, trying to like make sure that they make it through the round. Um, and then you've got the 20 or 30 behind them going, well, if I don't just put it all together in this one run and just wind it up like balls to the wall, it's, it's really hard getting that balance. It's, it's not easy. Oh, yo. Well, you've got half an hour until the first lift, bear that in mind. Yeah. And you should be able to do two, if um, you want to. You need to do two. So yeah. Doing a run on the in intermediate, because it uh, could be a bit greasy this morning, a bit of dew from overnight, so we're just going to test these out, and then I've got new wets and new dryers ready to go. And intermediates. There's a tweaking process. It's getting thought about. Yesterday, we... We'd worked on a setup so much I just left it through most of the, you know, we, we hardly changed anything on the suspension wise. Just went up a bit firmer on the fork. I think because of the heat yesterday, we probably should have closed a bit of low speed compression and, and closed a bit of rebound as well. Um, just to kind of keep it in the range where we were. But we decided to leave it, and it worked all right, we got the final. So, um, but it's cooled off today, so it'll be fine. Oh, we've had a bit of a change of schedule today. Um, we've been sort of hanging about waiting for an update and we finally got one and they've essentially cancelled the junior races today. No junior racing and they brought everything forward. I think they're expecting storms to come in. So we're in a bit of a hustle to uh, get our practice in. But we're planned for it. We've got half an hour to get to lift. Two runs this morning and then it's uh, Greg's first man down. Yeah, it was 2004. Fabian Burrell won. Steve had crashed on the last corner. 0.4 behind Fabian Burrell, so it was like a super close. And I'd won the World Champs before, so I was, had the number one player and I was like super pumped to win it again. And oh, it was just like narrowly missed. So 
I, I, I've had some good racing here, um, but also some could have been slightly better. Yeah, we knew the rain was going to come, and we were hoping it would, you know, everything would push forward, and we we're trying to miss it. And so when it rained, I was like relieved. It's going to slow things down, make things a little bit more technical, and and um, and and I was I was happy for that. Tom and I thought that if the rain's going to come, it's going to come in heavy and hard, and we'd go straight to mud ties. Um, but we needed the intermediate, so Matt brought the intermediates up. It was a full team effort. Having everything, you know, having the options to go which way we needed to go because we had to make last minute decisions on, on, on tyres. I think it was like 15, 20 minutes before the start. Um, just, it was raining, but it wasn't really like soaking in. It was weird. It changes everything. I was actually pretty relieved, to be honest. I, it's so fast, this track. And uh, yeah, I've had a lot of big crashes and a lot of bad injuries, and, and you think about it. I didn't know, I, I can't remember looking back at the race, but I've seen so many people crash. Uh, it was so hard to stay on your bike. Never disappoints. It's like there's so much energy in that that finish area. It's incredible. Thousands of people who are so pumped and excited that a French man just won in Leger and are going absolutely not. Actually, they were just they were the the crowd was amazing for all the riders. But it was cool. It was a hell of an experience.